Side by side. Way to come up with a better name. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I don't remember how old that name, but I think we just put it in as like a placeholder on the on, on our database here. Okay. So it's just side by side. Okay. Like two different things in two separate episodes. There we go. Yeah, so, so that's what. That's what so we're this doing. isn't bite size. No, it is bite size. So it's bite size it's side by side. Side. Bite side. Uh, shark tail. Shark tail. Come on! Yeah. What, 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 we have to do it. No, no. Side bite side. It sounds like my two halves are fighting. <laughs> it kind of happens. Yeah, it tends to happen. Anyway, especially in this show that we're about to watch. What we're about to watch is the one and the only critically acclaimed classic cartoon known for generations. Everybody, I'm waiting, I'm building up the anticipation. It's Avatar! Not the blue people. Yeah. Not the blue people. Uh, not the M.I. Shyamalan movie. Boo. Boo that. We're watching. Hey, no, we're going to watch Um come out, of that, come out of that iceberg. Yes, we are. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Avatar, um. Episode one. Oh, um, yes, obviously, Um is his name. Not A, no. No, boy um, in the um. iceberg. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be my friend. <laughs> And I am so excited. Two years ago, when this first dropped training on Netflix, I rewatched it over the um, um, quarantine, <laughs> and it was, oh man, I just, I don't rewatch it. It just gets better and better, guys. This is easily, Emma. easily one of the best cartoons ever, period. Am I yeah. the only one old enough? You watched it while it was airing. Yeah. I, okay. I, my, <laughs> the, the way I watched this show was weird because I caught most of season one live. <laughs> And then, because I remember watching Siege of the North when it when it aired. It was on like Fridays at night. Something, like yeah. It was a prime time slot. Yep, yeah, so I could sense. watch it. And then book two, we missed, because I say we my siblings would watch. We missed a huge chunk of book two at the start. Watched most of the middle, which all of a sudden Toph is there. I'm like, who's mm-hmm. this? Okay. And she was my favorite character when I was a kid. Oh, she's and so then cool. got up to Tales of Bossing Say, and then missed a huge chunk. And then one day I turned on the TV and it was Crossroads of Destiny and the second half of the episode when they're submerged, you know, underground. And I saw saw that. And I was like, oh, I missed a lot. <laughs> and then missed almost all of book three until we get to, like, Boiling Rock. Boiling Rock to the end, I watched because they're doing it, like, each day they show a new one and then show all the other ones before it leading up to and then watch those and kind of like, it's a weird, long tangent, but... I basically saw it in patches, and then like seven, eight years ago, my brother and I watched through all of the in order finally. I feel like that's the best way to do it. It's just, just like cruise. It's a very vengeful show. Oh my god, it's so vengeful. I thought you were meaning watching it in the order. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it makes <laughs> more sense. <laughs> no, I mean, no, 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 if no, you no. can just memento it, watch it. <laughs> hey, that's an interesting experience. I would love to see how that feels to do this like backwards. But Jake, when's the first time you saw this? What's the year it premiered? 2005. High school. All right. Last year, I school, senior year high school. I remember watching it all the time. I remember seeing the Pirates episode way many times. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first episode with uh, Cabbage Man, wasn't it? I think so. Wasn't it? Yeah. They, I, there were some episodes that they just kept rerunning because I feel like I've seen Jet 20 times. Oh, I feel like I've seen that Pirates <laughs> episode. I can still play the music in my head, not because it's good, just because... I heard that like 30, 15 to 30 second fight at the end of a uh, another Nick show. It's like, we're oh, playing yeah, this well, upcoming Avatar. Coming up next, Avatar. <laughs> the, other one I, the other one I saw a ton was the, the, the first Kyoshi one where he rides the big koi fish. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah, that was, I mean, they're on the ship. It's, it's, just, it's just funny how I could see Jet 20 times, but then like, What's the one where he hurts Katara when he fireburns the first time? Uh, 
uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That episode when my brother and I rewatched it seven eight years ago, I didn't remember that one, and I it's thought I'd seen. Do I know? I thought I'd seen all the season one. And I was like, I don't remember this at all. Are we? Are we? Um, caring about spoilers in this discussion at all? Absolutely not. I feel like we should. We'll warn everything because some of us like to spoil things. We'll just say this. Yes, this is old, but we should always be careful about spoilers just because we want people to experience it. There are spoilers. Yes. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it and then come back and join us for our discussion. I believe it's Firebending Masters is the episode title. That's the one with the dragons. Regardless, you don't see him. You see him that one episode. You don't see him again until the end. Yeah, the White Lotus. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Team up. It's that like, I remember thinking that that was weird when I first watched the show. But, but they hint at it with the little. The, what is the game they play? Oh, I Joe. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, the little piece they have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm super, super excited to watch this guy. Watch the game. I'm so excited I can't even speak. I'm just really going to watch this again. You got anything else you want to add before we jump right into this? Let's watch. Let's do this, guys. All right. Without any further ado, take a bite. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after we watched that practically perfect pilot. Oh, my God. It's, honestly, God, be honest. Is there any critiques you have of this? No. You think of anything that's yeah, wrong about it? I don't want it to stop. <laughs> like, I'm not like, literally, like, I actually forgot that that's what the first episode was, because for me, I connect the first and second episode together in my mind. So when it ended, I'm like, wait, that was it? I was wondering where it was going to end, because I knew it was, like, it's a, and my, spoilers. <laughs> it's, it's spoilers. Please, if you haven't watched this episode, go watch it and then come back. And yeah, actually, no, no. Go watch it. And then watch the rest of this series. Okay, yeah, and that's then true. come back. That's fair. Um, I thought it ended with him getting captured by his me show. too. Same. Me too. And then it started with that one, but that's apparently the third episode. That's the second. Wait, no, no, no. no apparently, that's the end of the second, leading into the third. Yes, I think. That's why. Like that. Regardless, I have watched this the whole series probably five times now. Damn, that's more than me. I've only seen it two times through all together. <laughs> I had a lot of time in college. You know, that's fair yeah. enough. In college, my go to was Supernatural. So I, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. But no, I could. back when it was good. Yeah. But no, I feel like just just after watching this episode, just just now. But like. I've even told you, like, I'm going to watch it all again. I've, I've, seen, I've seen this so many times, and this is the first time it struck me that the reason that that the iceberg kind of blows up the way it does is because of all the air pressure in where he is. Yeah, yeah I, I guess before. that makes a lot of sense. Because he's, he's an airbender. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You connected all the dots. I was so confused until you mentioned that. Thank you. Thank you so much for clearing that. Also, up. it amazes me, and you can say it's just because it's a pilot, you can say whatever you want, because it takes place over the course of a full year, right? Hmm. The whole show. Yeah, probably a uh, scene, probably like an actual, like, it's the time of the show. Three or four months? Yeah, three or four months. Show? Yes. Wait, the whole wait. show. The whole show or just a season? I thought, the the time, I thought the time jump from Crossroads of Destiny to the start of book three was a couple months itself. Okay, so maybe I, it is a full year. I think the whole, yeah, the whole show would probably fill out like a couple months. But regardless, <laughs> what a year. Yeah, oh my god. They're, the, the, their character models now, they look so young compared to yeah. what you see in the finale of the show. And that's what I love so much about this. It's just how, like, steeped in kids and just being, being just being a kid. It just, like, it, they manage to meld just, like, really well-formed characters with just being kids. And I, I love that. I wonder what it was like to be a kid. You get a sense of what, how each character functions Right away, mm-hmm. the first scene in the canoe establishes their sibling relationship right away. Perfectly. Their personalities right away. The first time you see Aang, perfect. That first show, I remember when they first show Zuko, you go, oh, I know exactly what this dude's... And then when you, when you realize, I think whenever they say his age, he's like 16, you go, yeah. I 
always felt he was older than that when you first started. When I was a kid, I thought he was way older. Oh, really? I thought I saw him. I'm like, this guy sounds angsty. He's in his teenage years. <laughs> that's just the, the, the child perspective is like, oh, he's that's, so much older. That's fair. That's totally fair. But yeah, I <clears throat> God, I just just as like not even just like as an episode of Empire, just as a pilot in general. Like this kicks so this kicks everything off perfectly. Like you get right into the action. And it leaves you on such a perfect cliffhanger. Like, I don't remember when they released this, but I would be very curious to know if they released the first two episodes. I think they, they, okay. Yeah. Because like could you imagine them releasing this episode and having to wait a whole week for the second one? Like, oh my god, I'll be on the edge of my toes. Like that would that would be a brilliant way to release this. What's that little smug face for? That's an interesting edge of my toes. As you were doing, right? Isn't that it the. It's edge of my seat. Keep you on your toes. Yeah, there you ah. go. Sorry, keep you on your seat. <laughs> <laughs> this had me jumping out of my seat on the edge of my toes. The other thing I want to mention is that is the most effective information dump I think I've ever seen. Yeah, at the really... beginning of that episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No fat. Doesn't go too long, it just no. gets right to the point. Mm-hmm. Without it, it answers enough to keep you interested. It doesn't mm-hmm. answer too much to make you not care because you want to know what happens if you want to learn more. Mm-hmm. And then the funny thing is, if you watch Dragon Prince, they basically do the same thing and they basically say the same thing. Which is, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, like, kind of like what you were saying, like that, that, that canoe scene tells us every single thing you need to know about those two. In mm-hmm. like a minute, like automatically, you know that um, they're just they're siblings and they have that sibling energy. And oh my god, I I I feel like we could just rave about this from just like forever, honestly. We really could. I know Jared could do several full length series about this show. <laughs> we all we just have so much to say. I know we're, Quite a just because we don't like it. It's like, I, 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 I try to figure out like how we slowly just dive into like everything else about this because like I mean, it just it, for me it's interesting like seeing the first episode with knowing how it ends and yeah. just seeing like knowing that massive journey that they take over it, it just and it starts out so much like a Nick show of like mm-hmm. like a Nick tune. And by the end, it's not. No, it, it just. You would think of as a Nick too. It hits on so many more levels than just like your standard Fairly Odd Parents or SpongeBob SquarePants. There's no crossover episode with the Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, darn. Darn, darn. We gotta hit a Butch Hartman and see if he wants to make that happen. <laughs> he wanted to be Danny Phantom. <laughs> oh, that could be interesting a Danny Phantom Avatar crossover. Except Butch doesn't even own the rights to Danny Phantom and he doesn't work at Nickelodeon. Well, not anymore. So, what's the, what's the bad news? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, kind of like, I wanted to you mentioned earlier, like that they didn't dump too much lore on us because they, I mean, like, there's like a lot of like world building and lore that goes out throughout the whole season. And I really like the way that they staggered them. Like you were saying, like they didn't. It's because they use it to drive stuff forward. Mm-hmm. It's they not use- lost where you don't have everything answered and it's not. Matrix Reloaded, where it's a 15 minute scene of them telling you everything. Mm-hmm. It's that perfect balance right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like the right scene. Right in the middle of those two, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, well, those are the two extremes. It's neither one of those. Nothing felt like forced on you. Nothing was like, just spoon fed to you. It's just, mm-hmm. it, it feels natural. And of course, every time something serious pops up, a 12 year old's not going to have the attention span or want to talk about it because. Mm-hmm. When he, that moment when he realized, like, it's been a hundred years. And in that moment for us, knowing where that goes, it's, he's got to think of, oh my gosh, I just ran away from my responsibilities, and now a whole century has passed, and there's a war. I screwed up. Mm-hmm. This, but we, know, we as the viewer know he's the advertiser. But in, yes. within the show, they don't know. Even he knows that, obviously. So that and whole first episode, our main character, two of our main characters still don't know. Yeah, which I think just it adds a good layer of like just like levity. Just the the fact that he's hiding something. It just it, it just like I said, just adds another layer to like how it does. We might have answered it in the 
show. They really might have. So they sent, they banished Zuko to go find the Avatar, right? Yes. So then the Fire Nation must know that the Avatar is still alive. Or they were just. Like, yeah, I mean, or, they they were, or they were just sending him on a fool's errand that they I knew mean, he was never They wanted to get rid of him. So yeah, that well, could easily be part of it. Was it that specifically, or was it they vanished him and Zuko came up with the idea that he could restore his honor if he kept I, I can't remember. Oh, that's his dad good. sent him out to do it. So. That's a good question. We have to have a lot I really of think I really think it was that. I can't remember. The only because he lost the act of Kai with his dad, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's because he didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, Later. Again, again, massive, massive, massive spoilers. Um, but I seem to recall hearing someone say the only way to regain your honor is to catch, capture the Avatar. But if they thought they eradicated them, then they just sent them out full. Hey, that's not something that's ever really fully explained, similar to Zuko's mom. That's <laughs> a that's a heartbreak for another that, day, though. Cool, yeah. I well, wish I wish the studio existed because now they have a studio for the Avatar. Do. I wish it existed then because then the what's it called the search, right? Yeah, the, the comic search book. is the comic where they where they look for it goes on. Yes, that could have from what people have said it's really good, and yeah, that could have been a total movie. Been a re- yeah, because yeah. we don't need a whole. That can't be a whole season. I was about to say. I think that'd be a good. Movie. Like, you know, like what other well, well, like other shows do, like what anime movies do, their movies, instead this would actually be connected to the show. Hey, Moving Train is connected to the show. They just went ahead and remade it again in the second season. Sure, but I would like to point out that everyone should stay tuned for next week's episode. Yes, we because, can. guys, you know, when we said this is doing side by side, we're comparing this to the first episode <sighs> of Horror. And that's going to be super interesting. But that's for another week. So, Jerry, you want to send us out on socials? Oh, yeah. You can follow us on the Facebook and the Twitter, the Instagram, and uh, if you want to watch some pretty funny stuff. I swear to God. God. Go you to made TikTok. a mistake. It's never going to say that. You, you are pretty to funny us. on TikTok, to say. <laughs> you can listen to us on Stitcher and Google Podcasts. Spotify, the Evil Overlord app podcast, leave us rating. Also, like and subscribe on YouTube and leave a comment on how funny our TikTok is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone for listening. And yes, don't forget, next week we are going to be doing Cora and we're going to compare the two and see how both pilots work and just all our thoughts about the whole series. So I'm very excited for all our upcoming stuff. Thank you once and all for listening. And until next time, take a bite. Oh, I know a piece of that. Right, so-